As long as all other variables remain constant, then increasing light intensity increases the rate of photosynthesis, but up until a point, then you reach a plateau where you have the maximum rate of photosynthesis under those conditions. At this point, further increasing light intensity will not increase the rate of photosynthesis any further. Providing all other variables remain constant, then increasing temperature also increases the rate of photosynthesis, but again up until a point. Beyond that point, the rate of photosynthesis decreases dramatically. This is because initially increasing temperature increases the kinetic energy available to molecules and therefore increases the molecular collisions. This happens up until a point which we refer to as being the optimal temperature where you have the maximum rate of photosynthesis. Beyond that, further increasing temperature leads to breaking of bonds within the enzymes and therefore loss of shape of the active site, and we refer to this as denaturing of enzymes. At that point, the rate of photosynthesis will decrease. Once again, provided that all other variables remain constant, then if you increase the carbon dioxide concentration, you will increase the rate of photosynthesis up until a point when a plateau is reached. At the point of reaching the plateau, the plants are saturated with carbon dioxide and no further increase in the rate of photosynthesis can be achieved unless you increase light intensity or temperature.